Hello, today I will be showing you around my ancient China theme park and I will talk about how they built the wall of China and more stuff that will be happening further in the, in the video. So let's go in the cart because it is a tour guide. The Great Wall of China is built along an east to west line across the historical northern borders of China to protect the Chinese empires against the raids of invasions of the various nomadic groups. Rather than being one long wall, the Great Wall of China is made up of a number of different walls. These walls were built by various dynasties over a long period of time from stone and other materials like wood. Some part of the wall was built as early as 2000 years ago. Especially famous is the wall built by Qin, the first emperor of China. Little of the wall remains. The purposes of the Great Wall have included border controls. The defenses of the Great Wall were improved by the construction of watchtowers. The entire wall with all of its branches measure had to be 21,000 kilometers. The Great Wall of China is the longest structure ever built by humans. But rumors that astronauts can see the, the Great Wall of China from the moon are untrue. Tea is very important in China and is considered one of the seven needs of Chinese life. Long without with firewood, rice, or oil, salt, soy, soy sauce, and vinegar. The highest grade is made from tender tea shoots picked early spring. As the natural beverage of China, tea is produced in most areas in the country. China is the world's largest tea producer. The practice of drinking tea has a long history in China. According to, according to popular legend, tea was discovered by Chinese Emperor Shen Nong 4,000 4, years ago. Terracotta Army is a collection of terracotta sculptures of the Army of Qin, the first emperor of China. It, it is a form of funerary art buried with the emperor in 200 before Christ and whose purpose was to protect the emperor in his afterlife. The figures were discovered in 1974 by local farmers digging for water. There are in total more than 8,000 soldiers by the majority of which remained buried. Weapons such as swords, spears, battle axes, shields, crossbows and arrowheads were found in the pits. I have created the gate to the Forbidden City. It is located in the center of Beijing. I'm entering the Forbidden City through the gate Call, called Gate of Heavenly Peace. The Forbidden City was the Chinese imperial place for the Ming Dynasty to the end of the Qin Dynasty. It was called Forbidden City because no one could enter or leave the place without the Emperor's permission. It served as the home of emperors and their households and was political center of Chinese government for almost 500 years. In total, there are 980 buildings and is today a museum. Unlike the evil Western dragon, Chinese dragons are very nice creatures. In China, they are also known as Long. They live in lakes, pools, or rivers. They are able to change their size from incredibly small to incredibly large. They can also shape shift into people, animals and objects. Dragons symbolize importance, power and strength. Dragons are important for farmers since they can control the seasons and the weather. The male air and weather dragons would bring rains and winds to help the harvest, while the female earth dragons would preserve water and rivers and underground wells. Farmers would farmers would make offerings to the dragons to ensure a good harvest. The Chinese Dragon Boat Festival is celebrated in China, Hong Kong and Malaysia by racing long. Dragon-shaped boats powered by rowers rowing to the beat of a drummer at the head.
The Temple of Heaven is a complex of religious buildings in the southeastern part of central Beijing. The complex was visited by the emperors of the Ming and Qin dynasties for annual ceremonies of prayer to heaven for good harvest. The temple complex was constructed 600 years ago during the ruling of the Yongle Empire, who was also responsible for the construction for the Forbidden City. In 1918, the temple was turned into a park and for the first time open to the public. The Chinese invented the firework for about 2,000 years ago by accident when a Chinese cook working in a field kitchen who happened to mix charcoal, sulfur and saltpeter, all commonly found in the kitchen in those days. Firecrackers both then and now are thought to have the power to fend off evil spirits and ghosts that are frightened by the loud bangs of firecrackers. China still makes about 90% of the world's fireworks. Walt Disney is said to be the world's largest user of fireworks. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it.